Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back to the Crypto Bully Bear channel where there's only funny, where there's only fun decoding and no financial advice. Um, I was doing videos back in the days about the Stella wallet, I guess it's called Lobster Wallet. Now, I see a few comments when I went back and a lot of people are asking me how I feel about it, what not, and the third. I stopped doing videos on it because I couldn't determine what was a fake asset, what was a real asset. Um, I just wasn't that swift on figuring out, you know, what was what. So I spent what I spent on there and I just left it as like a lottery ticket just lingering in the air basically. I bought what I bought and, um, and that's it. So that's that for the wallet. But I did a video on this particular asset because I seen that it was fluctuating and it was called Q Silver, Quick Silver, or yeah, Q Silver. And it was funny enough, I, I don't know what video it was, but if you go back, you might see it, but I remember doing the video and I remember getting like pieces of mail. I picked up a bunch of mail. I had like four or five pieces of mail from this place called Quick Silver. I think I had an old credit card that said, it was a bunch of shit that was just pointing to it. So whatever, long story short, I seen this one asset jumping up and down called Quicksilver. At the time, I was spending like $10. And for every $10 I was spending, I was getting back, I think it was like a billion total. Whatever it was, Every for every $10, the fluctuation was for the $10 I spent, it was coming back at like 100 grand. So, and again, I told people, I don't know if it's a true asset or not, but I will tell you that this is jumping very aggressively up and down. I don't know. I must have. I must have did that video probably last year or earlier in the year. This year or later last year. I just find it funny now that. And again, it's weird because if you go look at the lobster wallet, if you have one, some of the assets have little triangles. Excuse me. Some of the assets have little triangles next to them. Um, and I guess they're warning you that it's a fake or whatever a scam asset. But I have two assets that I bought. One of them was called Quicksilver. The other one was called the Guardian Project. And both of them have been steadily on the flip side. So I told you they were fluctuating, but they're all showing a higher price. So, for instance, and again, I don't know about the lobster wallet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to spend or not. I'm, I'm going to have to actually maybe get a little bit more into research and, and ask a little bit more questions about this wallet and see if anybody feels um, how people feel about the wallet because I really don't know. I mean, I've seen a few things and again, I only go by what I feel, all right? And I know a few things, but I try to take a few things from what I see and I try to put common sense together. So, but again, I don't know if it's going to hold or not, but I remember I spent 50 bucks and I threw it at this Quicksilver because again, I work on fields and it had all these Q silvers and this one asset is staying up there. I, my 50 bucks is actually holding on showing like five, 600,000 and it's been like that for a long time. So I don't know. I know a lot of people were questioning me on that video, asking me how to do it, how to, you know, get the asset. I think I did the video and I showed it how to do it. So if you followed my story and you happen to get into that Q silver you know I mean thumbs up to you if you got into it back then because it looks like it's actually holding again I don't know if it's a true asset if it's a real or if it's a scam I don't know because I have two assets up there one that doesn't have that particular icon triangle warning sign and the other one does have a warning triangle sign so that's where I scratch my head. I don't know what's what, but they both show pretty um, high value. So I just wanted to come out here and say that. Um, and again, I don't know. I'm going to have to ask a few more questions and find out what's going on with the lobster wallet because I don't know. I know Marshall helped Stella launch a wallet. I just don't know what wallet. So I'm going to have to try to ask him a few questions maybe he might know a little bit more hopefully i can bring that to you guys <clears throat> but until then my lobster wallet is just a gambling ticket for me i don't understand the depths of it there's other people that do so if you do if you want to add any of that to this video please do to help other people understand but i don't know whatever i bought 
I'm just literally holding on to. Because it seems like even if you try to swap over the assets that you bought previously to back over to XLM, you're not even getting half of what you put in. So they show you a value. Like if, if your asset is whatever it is, 100 bucks, they'll show you a value of, all right, you own whatever it is, 1,000 XLMs at 100 bucks. But then when you try to convert it, it might only give you like 150 out of the 1,000. So then you start scratching your head. So now it's just like whatever. Like the way I put things, like I said, when I buy assets, I already take it as a loss. I can't put over extend myself because I'll get, you know, you don't want to get emotionally attached to these things because then you start doing stupid shit when your emotions start kicking in. You know, if you're a man and you know you have feelings over a woman, how many times you've done dumb shit over a woman? Or how many times you got dumb shit because of your emotions? So that's why you don't try not to connect your emotions with your assets because then you do dumb shit. So in order not to do dumb shit, you just put the money into these things, assets or whatever you do, and taking it like that's it. All right, you know, it's really like, you know what, either this is going to break me or make me, you know, and you just buy whatever you can. And for anybody who's going to ask, I do I just buy whatever I can afford. You know what I mean? At this time, any price right now is an affordable price, you know, because of the value it's going to bring later on, and, you know, in the future. I just think that any price right now for Metallicus is a golden price. And I know there's a lot of people that are saying, you know, bull run, bull run. But I honestly think that, like I said, I always say this is a different ball game. This is a way different ball. The rules are definitely changed. You've been thinking about retail to retail, P, P, T, P to P, like person to person, retail to retail, like regular mojos on the street just buying these things, hoping for this, you know, big bang bull run. And we haven't had that yet. So I just feel like it's so obvious that <clears throat> people are waiting for this next bull run. And now we're not talking about just retail to retail. You're talking about banks. You're talking about institutions that are coming in now. In this new cycle and I just think it's going to be a new system and it's going to flip into the coins that are compliant there's going to be coins out there that are going to pump because people believe that there's a bull run so you're gonna get the regular retail people buying that coin you know don't get me wrong you know even if you're not compliant in the system you might have metaverses that use that coin and if there's a community that believes in that coin they're going to use that coin amongst themselves they feel like for a trade so you know don't get me wrong where i you know you just might not be able to buy everyday things like if you want to go on a plane if you want to go buy food or something like that maybe you might not be able to use those coins for that i think that's what proton is for because i believe that's what the new currency is going to be so if you wanted to buy like hard assets houses and stuff like that I'm not saying I'm definitely correct. I'm just saying I feel like Proton is the type of coin you need that's compliant. Anything that's compliant. You know, maybe Bitcoin, maybe Ethereum. I don't know. Whatever is compliant. I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying whatever is compliant should be able to buy whatever you want out here as long as you're behaving now, okay? There's a thing called Pop Score. If you're in the WebAuth wallet, there's a thing called pop score, and I believe it's your social credit score. So, again, got to be careful what you say because, you know, everything is definitely being recorded and stuff like that. And if you don't, you know, stay in your lane, you may get a ticket. That's all I'm going to say. So, um, just be mindful for that, you know. And, um, you know, if you listen to Crypto Ricky, you know, he basically had a good system. You can either at this point beat him or join him, you know. And it seems like Metallicus is going to be part of the system. And you could not be part of the system and get forced into the system later, right? And then they'll be controlling, you know, basically what you have at that time. Or you can believe in yourself and jump into the system now without getting forced and having your own choices. So it's either you get in early and choose for yourself or you wait and then get forced in later and they will choose for you. So you can take that information and do what you want with it. I'm not saying to buy, sell. I'm not saying to do anything. I'm just giving my own personal information and from what I heard and just passing off some 
information that I think might be helpful for you. You know? So, Crypto Rick also, you know, listen to Crypto Rick. He's got a YouTube channel. I think it's called Crypto Current. Um, go give him a follow. Go ahead and give him a listen. And, um, you know, he'll speak to you on, you know, other things that might interest you. So, anyway, just wanted to talk about a few things. Just babbling over here. Um, yeah. So, big ups to anybody who got into Quicksilver. Or that particular token that I said. Because it looks like it is holding up. It looks like it is holding up. I'm not going to say how much I have on that wallet. But it's nice to see one of my wallets, you know, with a little bump. So, anyway, thank you for liking, watching, subscribing. That's really about it. And again, and again. What are people are going to think when they figure out that this symbol has been on their heads the entire time remember the company's called new era okay a new era we are going into a new system a new era this is why i believe so strongly like the matrix is a big part of this whole shit because it's like everything is put there's no way that everybody is with the program like in on it you know what i mean it's like people are just programmed to just do these things or influence just to do this or put it like this or say it like this it's just new era hats we're going into a new era i showed you the p symbol okay they have a roman empire exhibit go to the exhibit you will see this symbol i showed you Look closely. You will see this symbol. You will see the wheel. Why do you think they are talking about asking people now if you if you think about the Roman Empire? Because this is the time. You're going back into time. Okay? Matter of fact, I think there's um on Thanksgiving, I said in my other video on Thanksgiving, I think it's gonna be a big explosion with the market, is because um that day also is a time machine day. Something about Doc Who, something like that, Doc Who Day. And they talk about time machines, and Elon is working on a uh, time machine. So, again, 23, Jordan, slam dunk, first pump. I really like the 23rd. The, the 18th, that's tomorrow. 18th is tomorrow. We see what happens tomorrow. We had a slight little pump, but again, these are just like little semi, you know, talking about like dropping zeros those are the pumps that we're talking about dropping zeros getting rid of the decimal that's what we're looking to do to get rid of the decimal and at least put one single digit that's not a zero in front of that dollar sign or i should say right after the dollar sign not in front but right after the dollar sign should be a dollar sign and at least one and if i'm gonna guess and i'm just guessing okay seven is my number five to seven dollars is my number all right the seven is their number so again not financial advice i'm just going i'm telling a story that that's what it's going to be i have to see that by the 13th or the 14th of january i have to see it i have to see all these zeros being erased you know, by code, by what I see, by what I feel. It's not financial advice. And if it doesn't happen, don't lose your panties. Don't lose your panties. The same what I feel. I really feel that Thanksgiving, we should see a nice little pump. A nice little price gap. If we don't, we don't. But I'm just showing you the dates just line up perfectly. And I had said this before. If there's always flipping, you know. It started on the Tuesday, right? 2001, that big event in September started on a Tuesday. I think we end on a Thursday. Anyway, that's what it is. See you later. Goodbye.